Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem quickly. We have y plus 3x equals 11, x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus 2x equals 33. So we want to solve this and it's simple. Here is what we are going to do. This is our equation 1 and this is equation 2. From equation 1, make y the subject so that y will be equal to 11 minus 3x. And we can now call this equation 3 because we are coming back to pick this. Now, copy your equation 2, which is x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus 2y equals 33. This is our equation 2. Now put equation 3 into equation 2 so that we have x squared plus y. Okay, y now in place of y squared, I'm going to write 11 minus 3x. So I'll write 11 here, then minus 3x. This will be squared then minus 3x plus 2 into y again, and that will be 11 minus 3x. This is equal to 33, right? Okay, so now, what again do I do? Let's continue from here. We are going to expand what we have over here. So we have x squared plus 11 squared will be here, minus 2 times 11 times 3x, okay, then plus 3x squared. In this, this time around, it will be in bracket, right? Then we have minus 3x plus 2 times 11 is 22, minus 2 times 3x will give 6x. The whole of this is equal to 33, right? Okay, so to continue with this, we have x squared plus 121 minus 2 times 11 times 6 times 3x will give us 66x. So we write 66x plus 3x squared will give 9x squared minus 3x plus 22 minus 6x equal to 33. Now the next thing we're going to do is to collect like terms so that if we do that we'll have x squared plus 9x squared. Okay, I think all the squared uh, out, then I'm going to pick minus 66x, then minus 3x, minus 6x. I think every term that has x is out. We pick 66, we pick 3x, and we picked 6x, right? Then after that, I'll pick plus 121 right and here we have from um, plus 22 then this becomes minus 33 and everything is equal to zero okay so let's continue x squared plus 9x will give us 10x squared then minus let's work on this 66 minus 66x 66 minus 3x that will give us minus um, 69x then minus 69x minus 6x that will give us minus 75x so we write 75 over here okay 75x is what we have over there then plus we are going to add this right away 121 plus 22 minus 33 
this will give us this will give us 110 and this is now equal to 0 remember 121 plus 120 plus 22 minus 33 will give what will give us 110 right now let's continue from here we now have a quadratic equation but 5 can go into all of this so we can reduce this okay divide this by 5 divide this by 5 divide by 5 and divide this by 5 so 5 into this will give us 2 so we have 2x squared minus 5 into this will give us 15 we have 15x plus 5 into the whole of this will give us 22 and then 5 into 0 is 0 now to solve this we will look for a way to factorize by the way multiply this by this and we get 44 right then what two numbers do you multiply to have 44 and you put them together to get minus 15 the two numbers will be minus 4 and uh, minus 11 so because of that in place of minus 15 x we shall write minus 4 and minus um, 11 x so we have 2 x squared minus 4 x minus 11 x plus 22 equals 0 and now um, 2 x is common so we write 2 x here 1 x will be left minus 2 x into 4 x will give us 2 close this then in this 2, 11 is common. Here, x will be left. 22 divided by, divided by minus 11 will give us minus 2. So this is equal to 0. And because we have the same thing in the bracket, it means that we are in line. So x minus 2 is a common factor. Then 2x minus 11 is another factor. And this will be equal to 0 meaning that it is either x minus 2 equals 0 or 2x minus 11 equals 0. So x minus 2. Okay, let's make x the subject already from here. So x is equal to 2 or on this side, 2x is equal to 11. Now x is equal to 2 or x from here is equal to 11 over 2. Now we have two values of x. But remember when I said we are going back to equation 3. Where is it? y equals 11 minus 3x. So you have to copy it again so that we can get the value of y. Equation 3 is y equals 11 minus 3x. So we will now say that when x is equal to 2, what will be the value of y? Right? Let me divide this. So when x is equal to 2, when x equals 2, y will be equal to 11 minus 3 times 2. Because x is 2. And then our y will be equal to 11 minus 6. And our y is equal to 11 minus 6 is giving us 5 right good so when x is equal to when x is equal to um 2 y equals 5 now the next thing is this okay so when um when x is equal to 11 over 2 what will be the y our y will now be equal to 11 minus 3 into 11 over 2. Right? We have 11 over 2. That is for x. And then from here, we have y to be equal to 11 minus. This will give 33 over 2, right? 33 over 2. Now, this is over 1. Uh, y will be equal to 2 as the LCM. We have 2 as the LCM. 2 divided by 2 is um, 2 times 20, 11 is 22 minus 
2 divided by 2 is um, 1 times 33. We have our 33. So this means that 22 minus 33 is minus 11 over 2. So this means that y is equal to minus 11 over 2. So what are we saying? We are saying that when x is equal to 2, y equals 5. And then when x equals 11 over 2, y equals minus 11 over 2. Thank you for watching.